Hi, this is Rich with Rich Bound Photography, Sacramento, California. And thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. It's a place where we can talk about all things real estate photography related. Today's tutorial is a feature that I found out that it's little known. And I can't believe that everybody doesn't know about this feature. It's a feature in Lightroom. It's called the Auto Mask feature in the Adjustment Brush. And this is one of the most useful tips and tricks I could ever give you because I use it all the time. And it's super easy, but super effective and really helps. So listen, sit back, enjoy this video. Um, I want to thank Adorama for sponsoring my YouTube channel. If you're going to go shopping, I urge you to use that Adorama affiliate link in the show notes. Helps motivate me to make these free videos. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Add the little bell to it so you're going to get notified for all of my upcoming videos. And leave a thumbs up, a thumbs down. It's all good. And I answer all my comments. So leave a comment. Let me know if you knew about this feature or if you didn't and your mind is blown because it is such a great little easy feature. So let's go in the Lightroom and see some examples of how this feature works. Now we're in Lightroom Classic, and that's important because that's what I'm running, and that's why my screen looks like it does. So I am going to show you this really cool trick, and it's dealing, it's not really a trick, it's a well-known tool, but I'm going to show it to you, and I'm again so surprised uh, so many people don't know it. So if you didn't know about this, please let me know. So what we want to do is, let's say I want to darken this um, wall right here, the white, but I don't want to get I, I don't want to get the jacket darker. So now understand I'm going to go a little overboard on the on the um, the amount of uh, adjustment I'm doing, but I want you to be able to see it. So for this, I'm just going to turn down my exposure, and I am going to just go into my local area adjustment brush, and that's right here, as you can see. And I'm just going to take out some uh, exposure. And now, auto mask is down here. I'm going to turn it off. It's not on. And let's say I want to paint around this bench. I got to get right in the lines. Right in the lines, or it bleeds over. Let's say I'm going around this jacket. Ugh, it's a pain. It's not working. Now, again, this black, this darkness is just an example for you. I wouldn't really do it like this. But now let's turn on auto mask and watch it now. It stays within the lines. Now, understand this doesn't work perfect. It's kind of like how um, the, uh, the clone tool doesn't work perfectly. It actually doesn't work really well in Lightroom anyway, but sometimes you can learn to use it where it is easier and faster than bringing it into Lightroom. So that is showing you there, and I think that's pretty impressive. Let's just try it again. I'm going over the bench, but it's staying because my my plus mark, my X, is, is in an area that it is identifying that's what I want to fix. So you can see here. And if you've never used this, I think you'll agree it's pretty cool. Staying within the lines, okay? And again, I'm going to show you if I didn't, it is, hold on a second, I got to turn off auto mask. Sorry about that. If I ver venture outside the line, it's going to bleed over right there. But let's try it one more time. I turn it on. There we go. And it stays in the lines. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty amazing. There we go. Not 100% perfect, but pretty darn good. Now I'm going to show you another really cool thing, even cooler. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of this. Um, what I just did. Okay. So I am staying in the area adjustment brush and um, I'm going to keep it the same settings. But now I'm going to turn off auto mask because you don't want auto mask all the time. You want it when you really got to stay within the lines and it uses up resources and can slow your Lightroom down a little bit. But one way that you can go in and out, because if I wanted to use it and then I didn't want to use it, I'd have to go from here to here to here to here. But it's the same thing. Dig this. If I hold down command, it turns on the auto mask. Okay, so I'm not using it now. Okay, 
and I'm just going to go backwards. Now, instead of going over to Auto Mask, I'm just holding down Command on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and here we go. Watch that. Is that great or what? So, again, if you haven't used Auto Mask, it might be your newest, bestest tool to stay within the lines. Let's just do this one more time without it, and I'm just not going to hold down Command. It is bleeding over. I'll do the same thing now, holding down Command. There we go. Not 100%, but pretty darn good. Let's get it in down in there. Okay. So I think you get the idea. Okay. So let's go on to another photo. Now, let's just say I want to darken this here. Okay. This brown wood. Let's just raise up the whole... Um, the whole thing. Okay. And let's say I want to darken it and I want to take out some of the saturation. I don't want it to be so orange. So let's go up into our adjustment brush, click that, and I'm just going to darken it and take out some of the saturation. Actually, you know what? Let's try this. Let's make it blue. Let's turn it a little bit blue. And now I am not going to even go over and hit click auto mask. I'm just going to hold down my command key. First, I'm going to do it without it. And I'm going to make my brush a little bigger than the area I want to work on. And as you can see, it's painting over the areas. Okay. Not really turning it blue, but I guess you will get the idea. So I'm going to now hold down my command button and look at it. it stays within the lines. It just knows. I think it works off a of contrast. I don't know. And then once you do that adjustment, you can now, because you're in a mask, you can make it darker or lighter. I think that shows you really well. Let's do a TV now. Let's just make this TV completely black. Okay. So let's go here. I'm now not going to use auto mask. And look at that. Okay. I'm actually going to take off the blue. Okay. So let's take it over again. Let's try it. And I'm just going to try and go stay within the lines. And I'm going over the boards and it's just not doing anything there for me. So I'm going to hold down command. Same thing. Watch this. It's staying in the lines. There you go. Okay. Let's do this table. Okay. Let's stay if I'm not using auto mask. I bring it out here. It's going to go over the area. I'm now going to take that away and I'm going to hold down the, uh, the uh, command. And it's going to go overboard. Let's see it now. Look at it. Staying right in the lines. Going a little bit on that couch, but it's staying outside the lines there. Let's do it over here. See that? It's going outside a little bit. But in general, and then all I have to do is clean it up a little bit. But I think if you play with it, you're going to just fall in love with this tool and use it all the time. And the best new trick is, again, you can just hold down Command. You don't have to go click Auto Mask all the time. Let's do a 360. This is a rectilinear flat 360. And I want to take out some of that orange. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to make it exposure. I'm going to bring exposure up, saturation down. Make it just neutral color. Right there. Okay. So if I didn't use the auto mask and I went here, it's going over and it's a mess. Okay. I'm now going to hit my command and I'm going to do the same thing. There you go. Okay. Again, not perfect, but I think you get the point. And let's take this again as we did in the last picture that was not A360. Let's just, oops, let me go here, make another adjustment, adjustment layer. I'm going to take the exposure here. I'm going to make it more orange and I'm going to go overboard with it. Okay. So let's now just hold down command. Look at that. It stays within the lines. Not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. So I hope this really enlightened you to this wonderful feature that's so easy to use and really effective. And if it's really helped you, please help me by using that affiliate link in the show notes for Adorama.
And be sure to subscribe and check out our podcast, shootingspacespodcast.com. And also, we have all our webinars, presets, everything is on the Shooting Spaces blog, which is shootingspaces.net. So until next time, shoot better, shoot smarter. Remember that this is a career path. It's just not a day-to-day job. You can take this wherever you want and go as far as you want. So shoot better, shoot smarter, make more money, spend more time buying gear or spend more time with your family and buying your family presents and food on the table. So thank you very much. I will talk to you on the next tutorial.